Are you my mommy? Let's ride. Oh, this is so satisfying. Hi, cozy friends. It is so good to be back with another cozy demo. And today you can see we will be trying my writing staples because I love really cutesy, really, you know, some may say girly, but you know, I think that's too binary. Okay. I love these kind of games. I love these like little kid type of games, <laughs> especially when it has something to do with like pets and then like nature. I've had this on my list for so, so long. I have zero expectations I honestly feel like it might be a pretty bad game I'm concerned it might be um, not a great game but we're gonna try it that's what the demos are for all right so that you don't have to buy the game and regret it because I've already done that for you so let's try it all right let's go um ignore the blinking fall guys because I have no more storage left on my switch and I need to get a new memory card but I just want you to see I just want you to see what the the cover looks like of this game promising to say the least nothing that tells you what the game is just a horse just a horse they're like yeah, you you got into this you know what you're getting into I don't have to, to I don't have to market it to you I don't have to convince you to play this game <laughs> oh wow yeah Feeling better and better about this game every second. Okay, it says story mode behind my face, so we're gonna do that. Okay, character customization, that's fun. Boy or girl, I see. Hair, okay, we'll do like, a, we'll do the short bob. Clothes, ooh, I kinda dig this one. She's a renaissance girly. <gasps> we get to customize the horse? Oh, I want him to be a mini. Is that what these are? Yeah, make him small. <gasps> Pretty. This one looks scary. Kind of like the tan one. Kind of like in the tan one. I don't know. Also, how excited are we that it's almost fall? This actually kind of feels like this is giving a fall game to me. What's my horse's name? Plop is my horse's name. I will not be explaining that. Equestrian news. After years of neglect, the riding stables shall be successful as they once were. You are facing the challenge of restoring the stables to their former glory and to offer appropriate services. This is your first day at the complex. Okay, my tasks are to achieve a one-star rating. So clean hooves, hooves, ride in the fields, increase skill level, groom my horse, increase trust level, build riding hall, and <laughs> pick up a carrot. I think I can, I hope I can do that. Put your horse in its stall. Your horse is waiting in the paddock. Collect it and return it to its stall inside the table. All right. Whoa. You know what? This is better. The, the drawing distance is a little rough, but it's better. The controls are absolutely wild. There's no, there's no like secondary control. It's just one stick. And it's kind of just choosing where it, it thinks I want to look. What? And then it, it randomly goes backwards. Like it flips the orientation sometimes. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm gonna pick up a carrot. I'm not gonna do what I'm supposed to do. Treat your horses. You now have one carrot. Okay, I did that. I picked up, yeah, what's happening? Like this is that, this is gonna take some getting used to. Where the hell is my horse? Where is a, what's a paddock and where is my horse? Where is plop? Oh my God. Okay, the controls are enough to enrage me and keep me from playing this game. However, it's so charming and cute. I think I think I can overlook it for a second. Oh my God. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> this for sure could make someone motion sick. Where's, oh, there's my horse. This is a paddock, I guess. Okay. Come on, horsey, let's go. Will you just follow me? <gasps> he just follows me, how cute. All right, I don't know where the barn is though. Is this the barn? I think so. Stables. Plop just came along with me. What a good horsey. Let's put him in this one. This one feels nice because it has an opening on the side. Hayloft. Muck out. Oh, my stable's already clean. I don't need to muck it out. What can I do with Plop? Sell horse? No. Clean hooves. You can switch between small bristles and scraper. The small br brush is better for removing dirt from fleshy parts. This activity consumes a fixed amount of time. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is nice. It raised your horse's trust enough for it to be saddled. The trust level decreases when a horse is sick, exhausted, or left in the paddock. Maintaining a horse's trust is important if you or your guests want to go riding. You know what? I, I was talking a little bit of smack, okay, on the controls, but this is a very well, like the mechanics of it are nice. The, how do I, how do I do the dislodge? There we go. 
Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, this is great. Like, I like the, the sequence of the beginning and the tutorials. It's really nice. Great, in fact. Oh my god, this is just, this is better than any pet cleaning game I've done. This is just straight up satisfying. Did I get it all? <gasps> okay, we gotta do four. Do I have to do it in like a certain amount of time? I don't think so. So is there like a set time in, in the day? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, horsey. I didn't mean to poke you. Imagine how fun this would be, IRL. I would play a game that's just this. That's how you know, that's how you know. That's how you know this is gonna be a good game because if there's a bunch of little mini games like this, oh, I would love it. You have achieved a high standard of horse care. What? Your horse earned a gold shoe for great hoof hygiene. You can gain three gold shoes, one for grooming, one for hoof picking, and one for massaging your horse. Cute. Okay, let's look at our tasks. Picked up the carrot, build riding hall. We haven't done that. Groom your horse, I haven't done that. Increase skill level, I guess I haven't done that. Okay, ride, I wanna ride, which we can do because we built trust. But let's hose down the horse. Oh. Groom. I can groom. Yes! Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. I love this so much. Oh, you dirty boy. You're so dirty. Look at you. It's okay. I will fix you. I will fix you, Plop. Because I love you. Oh wow. That's getting rid of it much quicker. Why, what is this? Just a better brush? Why wasn't I using this brush before? Plop doesn't like his legs or his face touched. <gasps> Yay! Okay, let's switch to this one. Make sure you're all clean. Let's build that trust up. Yes, we got the trust built. All right, I'm satisfied with that. Okay, so we cleaned horse, we groomed horse, increased skill level right in the fields. Let's ride. Let's ride. Dun, 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 dun. I guess the black saddle. Uh, you start with only one saddle, but you can buy more. Okay. Look, I have to walk backwards because I don't know how to turn around. Saddle horse. <gasps> oh my god, I love you so much, Bob. I love you, Bob. I love you. Come on, Bob. Let's go. Bob, let's ride. I, I was really talking shit about this game. I feel so bad. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to. Your paddock, can we just ride here? Put in your paddock. Where do we ride then? <laughs> I just want to ride with Plop. Anyways, I don't know if I finished my thought, but my thought was that I was talking smack and this game is great so far. I have zero complaints. That's a lie. I had one complaint and it was the move, the camera movement. It sucks. Fields gate, practice race, straw bales, windmill. Yeah, just take me to straw bales, man. In the bottom left, you'll see the horse's characteristics. The heart in the top bar show its energy. They determine how long you can gallop out when riding. The bottom bar represents the horse's skill. The red line shows the skill level your horse has to reach to take part in the race. Well, my horse, my horse ain't got that kind of skill. Can I jump? Oh my god, Plop did that perfectly. Oh my god, I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of my boy. My boy Plop. Okay, that was a little, that was a little, a little worse that one was. Come on, Plop, you got this. You're doing great. Oh, so if you have your, I have a wired controller in right now, but I'm guessing if you have, he's doing amazing. I'm guessing if you have like your switch switch, it's like a movement, like you, you're like turning like Mario Kart kind of. What's that called? Motion, motion movement. I don't know why else it's, it would tell you to do your little, okay, he's running out of energy. My boy's getting a little tired. There we go. Doing so well. Is there like an end to this or are we going in some kind of loop? Oh, that's the end. That's the end. Come on, Plop. Come on, Plop. You got this. Come on, Plop. It's right there. It's right there, Plop. Come on. <gasps> Amazing. He lost a little bit of steam. He did in the end there. He did. I might have pushed him too hard in the beginning, but did he mess up any of the jumps? He didn't. No, he didn't. All right, let's see. We rode in the field, build riding hall, we increased skill level. So we just gotta build the riding hall. I have no idea how to do that. Is that this? I think so. Oh my God. Bob, just come with me. Okay, it's not that. Is it this? I don't think so. Build riding hall. I don't know what that is, besties. Let's see. Oh my God, this. I, the camera movement's gonna do it for me. It's really, really, really getting to me. 
Okay, so let's just put him back. I literally have to walk backwards. This is infuriating, infuriating. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. The loading screens are a little annoying, but you know what, that's just me being picky, honestly, I think. This is not me being picky. This is just, why is there not a, there should be a second control, there should, what's this? Hey, food silo, food silo. Do you have enough food? Collect pellets. You're collecting food. Luckily for you, basic food is still left in the south, but you need to stock up regularly at the shop, which is located in your office. Plop pellets. Gave him some pellets. Return bucket. Collect hay. Got him some hay. Hay. Nice. Collect oats and barley. That's fun. Okay. I'm not really understanding like food levels and stuff. I don't know. Okay. I think we need to go to my office. Um, is that this? What's this? <gasps> Install horse station. Okay, yeah, 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 in my office. Okay, awesome. Wow, I would love to be able to turn around. Turning around would be so fun right now if I could just, oh yeah, that's great. Thank you for letting me turn around finally. Okay, so the day ended. The day just, end, like it just ends on you. I didn't even, okay. I have a room. Did not know that. I can change. Don't think I have any clothes. This is driving me absolutely insane. Oh, here's my office. Okay. Wait, I want to see what's upstairs first. Okay. Never mind. I can't go upstairs. Wow, this is swanky. What is that? Sims on my computer? I love this. What is this? Bookshelf? Fun. Little fireplace. Online shop. Shit, what was the thing I needed? Writing hall? This is fun. This is very fun. Oh, these are so cute. How much money do I have? If I move my head, can I see how much money I have? No, we can't. Oh, I have, <gasps> I have 650. Let's, let's just, let's start with things we need. These are more horses. Supplements. The, the quality of these pictures, not great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that right now. I feel like they could have done a better job on those pictures, but that's okay. Horse station. Well, how do I build? Build riding hall. The riding hall is one of the conditions needed to achieve one star in the riding hall. You can condition foals. How do I build it? Tell me how. Tell me how and I'll do it. Maybe I need to just go to the next day. I don't know. I'm just gonna, is this the writing hall? Are you my mommy? Are you, are you my mommy? Main house. Okay, this, oh yes, okay. There we go, I just had to go to the next day, okay. Available credits, writing hall 250. Guess what, I'm getting those cowboy pants. I'm getting those, those, cow, those cow print pants. Amazing, I love it. A client has brought in a full for you to train and will pay 72 credits for a job well done. Oh God, I don't know how to train a foal. I don't know how to train a foal. Okay, to prove its skill, the foal must stop at each of the given checkpoints. Lead it to a current checkpoint within the given time limit. Bring it to a halt there. The radar shows the location of the next one. If you miss three checkpoints, your effort will have been for nothing. It takes a certain amount of time. Okay, I can't see the checkpoint because I'm at my, my head's in the way, so. Okay, I'm gonna be looking the wrong way for a little bit because I need to. Here we go. Here's the checkpoint. Here's the checkpoint. Here's the checkpoint. What? Oh, I see. That's the checkpoint. Okay. That's pretty good, right? You f I failed. Okay. That's great. My client's gonna be absolutely pissed at me. Oh, I'm on the next one. I'm on the next one. Develop two star facilities, achieve two times one gold shoe, win all the field races, win all the field races, install horse station, build a bridge. Well, I feel like these, I can't really do these next checkpoints. They seem very, I like this bridge though, okay. Oh, let's do it. Hell yeah. Let's see what's over here. Can I build this? Therapy center? Oh, I'm just, just out of credits. What about this? Breeding stable? Oh my god. Well, okay, I love that. I mean, I guess this is just a quick demo because there's not much else I could do right now besides like buy more horses. So yeah, I feel like that's kind of, it kind of shows you, let me buy those cowboy pants, but I feel like this kind of shows you everything that you can do in this game. I'm back on this side, hello. And I feel like it shows you just this first, this first stages. What am I saying? I feel like all I'm saying is it showed this, this 
first like step that it gives you that seems kind of like a tutorial of like how to get around and like handle the horses and ride and all that stuff it's a really great demo of what you will expect for the rest of the game but then also seeing what's coming next on the like to do's in the journal shows you how much more of the game there is because getting a thousand dollars for the breeding station seems like a lot there's a therapy station there's so many horses you can get there's just so many horses you can get. Look at that, cream pie. Okay, interesting choice of name. And then having to buy things for the horses still. Breeding book, I guess, it, does this increase income? Interesting. It, this part reminds me a lot of Sims, what was it, Sims 3, where you, you can go to the bookstore and buy books and they increase your skill. I liked that a lot. Okay, I'm buying these pants. Give me the pants, I love them. Buy me them pants. Yep. I, like I said, I was talking shit but I love it. This is a game I absolutely could see myself playing when I'm in like a mindless, like I don't wanna think kind of mood, if you know what I mean. Like when I'm in the I don't wanna think kind of mood, I play like Diner Dash games and I play like Fall Guys or something. Like you don't really have to think, you just kinda like can play it and enjoy it and like turn your mind off. This is kind of one of those games. I feel like a lot of like the farming sims and a lot of the adventure games that I, you know, we know and love as cozy gamers has a similar like goal system, has a similar like journal and da da da, but it's like a little bit more complex and a little bit more of like storyline and you kind of have to think through it more and like really invest a couple hours this like i feel like you could just like jump on clean your horse train a horse not think about it do you do you making your way towards a larger bigger goal you know to like win all field races or whatever but it's not a super like deep storyline based game where you you're gonna like oh no i forgot where i was and now i feel like stressed about jumping back into the game you can't forget what you like you just you're just kid taking care of your horses and there's beauty in that i'm telling you there's beauty in that the only my only complaint couple complaints some of like some of the pictures bad some of the like graphic elements straight up bad but like this shit is really cute this is lovely like this this well done honestly and very cutely decorated and everything like i feel at peace in these surroundings so just the little pictures like in the in the catalog when you're buying the hay and the medicine bad just just please please and then the second complaint is the walking which could so easily be fixed by just having a second second joystick thing that controls this and then the other one controls your direction just like every other every other game that's 3d it's really annoying it's kind of like i can kind of figure it out like you almost have to no because now i was gonna say you almost have to turn and then walk but i just tried to turn and walk and it was going the opposite direction than it was before okay so that's my other complaint which is a pretty big one which if it's gonna bother you maybe don't get this game but if it's not and you can overlook it and you get used to the controls and just deal with the fact it's buggy and you're gonna have to walk backwards sometimes i think it's a really good one and it's really cute what do you think about it have you tried it i love games like this i'm planning on doing like um some more games like this like in the my universe franchise because they just bring me so much happiness i just love them let me know what you think i love you stay cozy i'll see you next week bye